Minister Paul Scott, founder of the Durham, North Carolina based Black Messiah Movement. Doing this video in response to a video by the superintendent, the head person of North Carolina public schools, Catherine Truett, Catherine Truett. Recently, June 10th, she spoke before the Republican, the Orange County Republican Party. And she said some very interesting things. She doubled down, family. Also, some interesting things she had previously said. And she added some more to some things she had previously said. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. She spoke before the Orange County Republican Party. And of course, one of the things that came up was critical race theory. That's a hot topic, critical race theory. And you would think that the person in charge of students from all walks of life, black, white, yellow, brown, would be unbiased when it comes to critical race theory or anti-racism education. But she's not unbiased. She's very biased when it comes to critical race theory. This is the same superintendent Catherine Druitt, who said, was quoted as saying a couple of weeks ago in the meeting of the North Carolina Board of Education that, to paraphrase, the social studies curriculum had too many black folks in it. It was too black. It was too black. But let's get to this. When she asked, would try to explain what critical race theory is, and I'm coming from the EDNC website, EDNC.org. They have the full video, but they also have excerpts of what she said. I'm going to read part of her definition of critical race theory. It's the idea that every aspect of American society is racist, pretty much. That racism permeates every aspect of our society, even though we have laws that we have passed and enacted on the books that are moving us towards a more perfect union. Stop, Catherine. If you say that we have laws on the books that have been passed and enacted, moving us towards a more perfect union, what was it before it started moving before uh, towards a more perfect union? I'll wait. It was racist, Catherine. It was racist, Catherine, because let's deal with dates. Everything, I'm no scientist, but everything has a beginning and an end, right? So if you say that racism is no longer a part of the United States, at what date did racism stop being a part of the United States? 1863, 1865, 1963, or maybe when Barack Obama became president. If you say that racism, this is what the Republicans say, that racism no longer exists 
at what point in history did racism end? But anyway, continuing on, okay, she says, that is what critical race theory is. Critical race theory proponents also believe that because those laws were in place in 1783, <clears throat> that they can never really be amended and therefore our nation will always be flawed. And that, my friend, goes against my core belief as a Christian. Let's unpack that statement. Let's unpack that statement. Critical race theory pro proponents also believe that because those laws were in place in 1783, that they can never really be amended and therefore our nation will always be flawed. And that, my friends, federal Republicans, goes against my core belief as a Christian. Well, Catherine, since you want to, or if I can call you Kathy, and since you want to preach to your Republican congregation, since you want to talk about your Christian belief and the fundamental Christian beliefs that critical race theory goes against, back in 1783, since that's the date you gave, what did your traditional Christian beliefs say about the slavery of my ancestors. Since you want to talk about how critical race theory goes against your Christian beliefs, isn't there something in the Bible that talks about atonement? Isn't there something in the Bible that talks about confessing your sins? Isn't there something in, one more time, the Bible that talks about the sins of the Father going from generation to generation? If you want to talk about your Christian belief system, did that not teach? And sometimes, in some cases, still teaches, according to some, that black people are cursed, that Jesus was white, that slaves should obey their masters. So, Catherine, you got some explaining to do when you say critical race theory goes against your core beliefs as a Christian, because there's something called black liberation theology, or even liberation theology, that challenges the traditionally held beliefs of your Christian belief system. And just like critical race theory, black liberation theology or liberation theology takes the Bible from the viewpoint of the oppressed. From the viewpoint of the oppressed. So, you said a whole lot of things. Bragging about, or talking about those bills that are supposed to be voted on that are going to push back or trying to push back the changes in the social studies curriculum. There are also bills like House Bill 324 that is basically North Carolina, North Carolina version of the anti-critical race theory bills that are going across the country. You also talked about how 
all politics is local and how people should be running their candidates for the school board. You know what's funny to me? All these Republicans say the exact same thing. They have the same exact strategy. Where do you all get your strategies from? Could you have gotten your strategies from the Manhattan Institute, from ALEC, from the Heritage Foundation? Is that why you all are saying the same thing, Kathy, if I may call you Kathy? This is the person who is in charge of the instruction of your children. We have to take this very seriously. She is in charge of whether your children pass or fail, what they are taught in school. If they're taught that Christopher Columbus discovered America, that's the mentality of the person in charge of your children's education. That's the person overseeing whether your child graduates or whether your child becomes part of the school to prison pipeline, pipeline, a victim of, as Michelle, Professor Michelle Alexander would say, the new Jim Crow. So, Hearing all of this, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's Juneteenth week. We cannot sit around and let our history, our children be attacked. They're voting on the social studies curriculum supposedly later this week. They have laws trying to stop critical race theory, anti-racism education coming up. What are we gonna do? First, we have to mobilize. We have to organize. Let your cousin know. Let your mom and them know. Let grandma know. Let the people at the barbershops, the beauty salons, at the basketball court, Walmart, let everybody know that they're trying to ban Black history, education in the schools. You don't have to give a big definition of critical race theory because their definition of critical race theory, they're really talking about um, dialectical materialism, but since they don't know what it means, they don't know what dialectical materialism mean, means anyway, either. But the Black definition of critical race theory comes from Neely Fuller, who said that the only form scratch comes from Neely Fuller, who says that if you don't understand racism and white supremacy, and how it functions, everything else will only confuse you. Neely Fuller also says the only form of racism that exists in the, on the, in the known universe is white supremacy. That is the black definition of critical race theory. If you want to break it down for the Republicans, if one of the Republicans asks you, what is critical race theory? And they want an example of critical race theory and why it's important. Tell them that Christopher, Christopher Columbus didn't discover America. Abraham Lincoln didn't free the slaves and Jesus was black. That's an example of critical race theory. Then, the, then go tell them to read Lies My Teacher Taught Me by James Lowe. End of conversation.
in the conversation. But what do we do? It's Juneteenth. We have launched the Juneteenth on the Juneteenth offensive. The Juneteenth offensive. We have to go on the offensive to make sure our history is taught properly and to hold those people who are in office controlling the education of our children are held responsible. If you want more information, I'm going to list it under this video. Click on the articles and feel free to reach out. We have to stand up, family. It's Juneteenth week. If we don't do it for ourselves, we have to do it for our children.